every day thousands upon thousands of tons of plastic and styrofoam and all kinds of other oil-based non-biodegradable waste pours into the oceans of the world every single day and at some point this plastic which is already killing marine life and whales and dolphins and seabirds and fish and turtles and everything else and now it's in the food chain and humans are consuming it at some point this continues all the other environmental damage we humans are doing there's going to be no future for humanity either we're going to destroy ourselves from that from the environmental contamination and degradation that we're doing or it's going to be from nuclear weapons but human beings are on this really bad pathway to destroying ourselves and yet people focus on another group that they hate or a certain religious group that they hate or you know trying to dominate by, by religion by ethnicity and ignore all, the, all this environmental catastrophe that's looming out there one thing that people can do if there was wealth is to literally do a mass anti-poverty program millions or thousands even millions of people across the world especially in Less developed nations are hired to clean up garbage and trash from coastal areas, from rivers, from other places. There's so much garbage pouring into the ocean, it can't be left in the hands of a few organizations that profit from this. It's got to move away from that. It can't be a voluntary effort. It can't be depending on some kind of technology to go to the great garbage patches where there's waste and expect that to clean something up. Because even all the technology, if it goes to the garbage patches, it's not even going to equal whatever they can claim or, or collect, it's not even going to equal what pours into the ocean in a single day. The plastic and garbage that pours into the ocean in a single day far exceeds all the ocean volunteer cleanups and all the garbage patch efforts to remove garbage from there. The only way to do this is to do an effort, a mass effort, to employ thousands, if not millions of people, have an anti-poverty program where people get employment, where it's a huge human effort to remove trash from the coastlines, from the oceans, and an ongoing effort, and then to develop technology to have better packaging materials, different packaging materials, and better ways of collecting and disposing of waste. But at the very start, at the very minimum, what people should be doing now is going to areas that are, are of really critical environmental importance, areas where there's rare dolphin species, coral reefs to protect, mangroves, seabeds, seagrass, things like that, the, uh, important areas, and start with that, employing people, not volunteers, actual employment of people to go and clean these areas up before that too is completely destroyed. There isn't much time left, but this can be a mass effort that would provide employment, it would be good for humanity as far as being an anti-poverty program, reminiscent of what happened in the 1930s with the Civilian Conservation Corps, but it should go all over the world, especially in, in developing nations where there's very poor waste disposal and the coastlines are literally filled with trash. It would be good for the environment, it would be good for people.